Hi everybody and welcome to this month's new Frozen Friday video. This is the holiday edition. I'm going to be showing some really cool little gift sets for the holidays this year. I also have some gift ideas and then Christmas decorations. So we can look at all of that. You guys can see what I got this year and I can give a little idea of what my favorites are. So let's get started. First I have the holiday gift sets and these can be found at Targets and Walmarts and various places that sell a lot of the holiday candy and gifts that are out. But this one was bought for me from my husband. It is a hot chocolate mug set and it does come with two mugs one of Elsa and Anna, and then two packets of cocoa. And the box is really nice. It does have all kinds of decorations on there and all the health tips and stuff that you need to know. And you can personalize it here on the back to give it as a gift. So that's really awesome. And he did get this for me at Walmart. Next I have this really cute body wash gift set. And two places I know of that had this was Walgreens and Walmart. And this is the Walmart edition. Uh, the Walgreens one comes in a more elongated box, but they're pretty much the same thing, just in a different box. Now Target also has these, and I have the Elsa one. You can actually buy these in separates, and uh, in case you just want a particular character. So this is what the Elsa looks like by herself, and she does have a little separated tag. But this is the whole set of them, and they're really adorable little bottles. You have Elsa, Anna, Sven, and Olaf. It's really cute. So you can get this at Walmart, and it is around $10, as the label up here says. Next, I have this Frozen Crochet set, and I saw this at Costco, so in case you want to find one, that's where I got mine. You might be able to find it on Amazon, though, or eBay. But I thought this was a really adorable set. You do get patterns for nearly every character in the movie, except I guess for the parents and like maybe some secondary background characters. But you even get the troll and Hans is on the back and you even get Oaken. So you can make almost all the characters and they do get um, to give you some yarn already in case you want to get started. But of course they don't give you all the colors so you will have to go out and buy your own yarn. But the patterns are in the book and you do get a needle. But I thought this was a really awesome little set and I don't know anything about crocheting. I've never done it before. But I thought well maybe I could try my hand at it and see if I'm any good. Next I have this deluxe stationery set. I got this at Walmart during Black Friday. I've seen previous ones like this one out there, but this is the biggest one I've ever seen. It is a really awesome set of all kinds of craft tools. You have your crayons there, you got markers, and you got pencils, and erasers, and stickers, and a notepad. There's so much in here to create with, and the case is really, really cool. Like The art on it is really nice. On the back you do have a nice overlook of all the stuff that you get. It's all decorated and frozen like so it keeps with the theme and there's 200 pieces in here. So if you want to try to get somebody a nice art set I'd say this is a really cool idea. Next I have these book and doll set. Um, I think these are incredibly cute. I got these at Costco and there is an Elsa one and an Anna one. They come with a storybook doll right here. You can see the Elsa doll in there and she is a basic doll. She's not like super decorated or whatever but she's incredibly cute and her face paint is really nice. And it does come with this little storage container that holds different books inside. And it comes with five different storybooks. And here is the Anna one. It's the same deal, but it comes with a Anna doll in a little storybook container that holds more stories. And here is the back of the boxes. Which is what all comes in each one. And here are the books. So here are the ones that come with the Anna set. These are really incredibly cute little storybooks and 
they go well with the doll. It has all the nice detailed storybook art that I really enjoy. And the last one, of course, is the main story of Frozen. And then Elsa has different ones with her. These are all the ones that comes with her collection. And some of these, of course, I already have in bigger versions. So you even might have them already too. But especially with the Anna one, there are some stories I have not even read yet. So there's the main story of Frozen. So these are really, really nice sets, and I did find them at Costco, but you might be able to look out and find them someplace else online if you want to get them special for somebody for Christmas. Next I have this really awesome gift set. My husband got this for me recently at Walmart, and it comes in this really cute little box. It's hard here so you can see it really well. You do get a few different pieces inside. Most of them are art related. You have stickers, there's a puzzle in there, there is a 15 piece art set, a mug, and the backboard also has art on it, which is actually a notepad now that I'm looking at it better. <laughs> but there are a lot of different little pictures all around the bottom of the box as well one here on a pull off on the side. And this would make a really nice cute little gift for somebody that's a Frozen fan in your life if you want to get them a gift. But it's a really cool little set and you can get it at Walmart. Next I'm going to show some small little items I thought would be cool little stocking stuffers or small little gifts. Here is something I found at Walmart. It is a little tin. It's for keepsakes. It does have a little lock and a key. And you can store stuff inside. You have Elsa and Anna there on the front, and it says Sisterly Love. Really cute. It's heart shaped. Then I have this little tin. I also got this one at Target, and it was in the value section. This is a really nice little piece of art here. It does have a little clasp so you can open it up or store stuff inside. A little handle, and the art's on both sides. A really, really cute little tin. Uh, Hot Topic also has some really nice makeup bags. This is one I found recently. It says let it go. It's both sides. There is also a bigger version of that at Hot Topic. This one here. I love this art style by the way. It's really nice. This is a really white big makeup bag. And it does have snowflakes all over it. It's really pretty. And Target even has a makeup bag. This is the one I found in their Christmas gift section. So I thought it was really, really cute. It's a little purse makeup bag. And then this one I found again at Hot Topic. This one's also really, really nice. It has this really unique art that I've never seen anywhere else but on a few Hot Topic items. They did come out with pins with this art and they also did come out with this little mirror. This compact mirror. And it is double-sided with both pictures of Anna and Elsa on it. And you can open it up and there's two mirrors inside. So this goes really nice with that bag as well. Now, I did find some nice gloves recently at Kohl's. And these actually do have that same art on it of Elsa. It's the only other place I found this art so far. so. But I think it's really cute, and these are really soft and nice. I'm going to get those at Kohl's. And something else I found at Target in their small gift section. This is a Lip Smackers gift set. I actually found these in another set, I think at Walmart. They didn't come in this little zipper set, but it was like a cardboard backing set. did have the same Lip Smackers in there, but I thought this was a really cute little gift set. Definitely something you could throw in a stocking really easily. And then I also got this recently, and I, I think I've had this for a little while, but I decided to include it because it is makeup related. It's a little makeup uh, brush set, and I just love this image here. It's really nice. On the back it says, let it go, and if I open it up, there's all your Frozen themed makeup brushes and a little mirror as well. 
So if you want to get somebody that loves doing their makeup and loves frozen, this is a really nice idea. Get them one of these, get them one of these or something. Yeah, this would be really nice. Now they also have some frozen themed wrapping paper if you want to really go all out. This is one I got last year, but they have lots of new ones even this year. I even saw one at Walmart that was like a four piece set of different wrappings and it also had ribbon and everything. So if you want to go crazy, here's some extra stuff you can get. Next, I'm going to talk about some different stationery that I've gotten recently. This I found in the candy aisle. This is a advent calendar or a holiday countdown calendar, I guess. And it pretty much has all the days of Christmas that you can celebrate. And each day you open up a new one, you find the number, the date, open it up, and there's a little piece of chocolate inside. I've never done one of these before. This is like the first one ever I've ever bought. I've never really been that demanding to get one. But it's frozen, so I said, what the heck, I wanted to show it. And on the back you can create some ornaments for your tree. But there's 24 pieces of milk chocolate inside, and if you want one, you might be able to find them at your Walmart. I also recently found tons of Christmas holiday stickers, and there are a lot to choose from this year. This is one I just found recently. This was by Hallmark. Some glittery stickers there. I also found these at Target. These ones are crazy sparkly. Like, just look at those. <laughs> These are those 3D kind that are kind of like a puffy sticker, but I don't really know what they call these. They don't really say or give a specific name, but they're a little different than paper ones. And then these ones I got at Walmart. And I did get a few of these because I want to put them on greeting cards this year. But there's an Olaf one with snow G's, and then this one here of Elsa and Anna. I also found these greeting cards at Walmart as well, and these are really, really nice. They're a little bit pricey, but since they're in the American Greeting section, of course you're getting name brand product. But these are crazy glittery, and on the back they have really nice art, and inside they have really nice art as well that um, you can even color if you wanted to, because they're like uh, coloring pages. Now some holiday books that are out this year. Um, the official magazine company for Frozen actually came out with a holiday book. I was actually kind of surprised to see this because I did not realize it was out. Usually when I knew, knew about the new magazine coming out, somebody else has already gotten it before me. This is the first time that I noticed it before anyone else on, online told me about it. But this is the holiday book and this holiday special. Inside you do get traditional stuff. It's a little bit thicker than the regular magazine. And it's hardback, kind of like the harder cardboard backing, so it's a little bit fancier. You do get all the same kind of things. You get little activity pages, you get some comics in there. Same kind of things that you normally do, just way more of it for the holidays. So it's pretty cool. So definitely check this out. This I found on the normal newsstands, so you can get it wherever the magazines are sold. But I did get this particular one at Walmart. There's also a Christmas book out this year. Now last year they had a Christmas one as well, which was similar, but they changed this one and made it a little bit more festive this year. There's way more Christmas stuff going on in the background, on the images. There's glitter on all the pages. There's just so much to look at, and it's the same story as last time, but they did change it just a little bit to make it a little bit more Christmassy, and they did make the art a little different. So you can find that one as well. The big, big, big release this year is the Olaf's Night Before Christmas book. This I couldn't wait to get. I thought the art in this book was just lovely. There's all kinds of original images just for this book, and the most exciting part about this book is that Josh Gad himself actually does a narration for the CD that is included inside, so you can actually do a read-along if you want to. But if you get this, I highly recommend that you do, because 
I think it's a really cute little book and it's definitely worth adding to your collection. There's also two new calendars out this year. Here's the two calendars that I have found so far. This one I got at Target. Lots of pretty images on this one. Again, can't wait to put this one out. And then here's the larger one I found. This one I found at Walmart. Walmart actually has two. This one is like the storybook art and the other one is like the official images from the movie, but it's a little bit more expensive for some reason. I think this one is actually way prettier than that because it's original art and it's a storybook alike. But this one you can find for $5 and it's a 16 month calendar. So that is pretty much all the gifts and holiday like stuff and new year type stuff that I have. Now we're going to get down to the highlight of the, the video and it's just going to be about all the Christmas decorations you can get. So first off I'll show the new stockings that I got. Now these stockings you can find at Target. But Walmart also has stockings for Frozen, and I think Kohl's does as well. So you can find other stockings in these, but these ones I thought were really, really nice. Target came out with ones last year that were similar to these, and I kind of missed out on them because they were so popular and they just sold out so quickly. But these are the two that they came out with this year, and I thought they were just gorgeous. This one, of course, is Anna. It's a very embroidered image of her, and it's very soft. It's really nice. And then here's the one of Elsa, and this one's also really lovely. People say that her skin tone's a little darker on this one, but I don't mind it. I think she looks really nice, and the stitchings and everything is really pretty. So those you can get at Target if you'd like to get one. And next I will show you the different ornaments that I have. This is the Hallmark Keepsake Anna one that came out this year. They also came out with Elsa and Olaf. I only got this one and Elsa because I already had an Olaf from another set and there's a lot of Olaf ones out. Uh, this one is really nice. I actually, she is double sided here, the back of the box in the front. And here is the ornament. Here she is. She's really nice. Lots of detail. Paint job is really nice on it as well. The next one I have is of course Elsa and this one was the main event. They came out with one last year but this one is a musical one so she does sing Let It Go. It's very very loud and it's really pretty. I'm not going to show it in my video because it's you know for, for copyright reasons I can't really show it but she does sing a segment of Let It Go and she's a really amazing ornament. Really highly painted, detailing is nice, capes really decorated, and she can stand on her own so you can put her on your desk if you want to. Alright, next we have some different ones that I got at the Disney Parks, Disney Springs actually, this past summer. The Disney Parks actually has a lot of nice ornaments. The only major downfall is they're $25 each, which is really expensive. These are the two I decided to get, even though I definitely want to one day hopefully get them all, so hopefully they don't ever stop making them. But here's the Anna one. The paint jobs on these aren't perfect. I actually had to look at a few of them before deciding on these ones. Here is the Elsa one. She's holding a snowflake up in the air. She's casting snow. Really pretty. These are also really heavy. This is the one that I got at Target. This is a this is a hand glass, um, a blown glass ornament. So this could probably break if you dropped it. This is real glass, but uh, it's a very pretty ornament though, and I do like these traditional hand blown glass ornaments. Here is the Anna one, which is really pretty as well. Next I have this little ornament here. I didn't even realize this was an ornament until I read the tag, but I got, did get this in the Christmas section. It's a little fluff ball Olaf. I thought he was really cute. He's by Hallmark, but he is a little ornament as well. So we'll put him on the tree. Next I have this little ornament of Elsa. It's in her coronation dress. I heard that Target had these as well, but I couldn't find them at mine, so I actually went to Kohl's and found this particular one. It's really pretty. 
I also found this one at Kohl's, and Kohl's is the only one I knew that had this one, Coronation Anna. And then I also found this one of Frozen Fever Elsa, which is really nice. I couldn't find a Frozen Fever Anna though, and I didn't see anybody post up about it. But this one I did get at Target, and you can get it at Kohl's as well. Next I have these ones, and these ones are in little boxes. They also have additions that are not in boxes, but these are the ones that I found at my Walmart. And here's one of Anna here. She's kind of dancing in a way. There's also this one. This one's a heart shape. It has Anna and Elsa on there with 2015, and on the back it has the little castle. Here's one of Olaf, and he's smiling, and he's all sparkly. There's the other one. This one's a, actually a picture frame. Put a picture frame in there. And lastly, here is a dancing Elsa one, and she's got a long, beautiful cape, and sparkles all over her. And lastly, I have these type of ornaments, and these are those, like, styrofoam glazed ornaments so they're really light these are the itty bitty versions so these ones came out by hallmark here is the anna one and it does even have an itty bitties type tag on each one of these and it does say anna on it as well this is the itty bitty ones there's the elsa one looks just like her itty bitty uh plush that came out and here is olaf and he's really cute Got a really cute face. And next I have these. These are the Hallmark editions. I really liked these when these first came out. I got these a couple months ago, way back during, um, even before Halloween. Here's the Elsa one. Here is the Anna one. It's really nice. And the Olaf, and Olaf actually has a little Santa hat on. Really cute. And lastly is Sven. And Sven is so cute, and he's so big, and his little antlers. It's, it's really adorable. Alright, so there is the tree, and it's all decorated now with all the ornaments. And it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, because I can't see it really well. But I hope it looks nice. But I also want to talk about my buddy Olaf over here. I actually forgot he was sitting there. But I did actually get him at Black Friday as well. And he's two feet tall, which is really cool. He has the stamp of 2015 on his foot here. So he is a nice little collector's piece as well, I think. And he's incredibly soft and cute. So if you want to get one. I got in for 20 bucks, which I thought was an amazing deal. But thank you guys so, so much for watching my holiday Frozen Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday this year. Have lots of fun with your family and friends and get lots and lots of gifts. But I will see you guys later. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Season Greetings, and Happy New Year to you. And I'll see you guys later. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!